everyone. So welcome to Need to Doctor. This is Shruti Ayuja, second year MBBS student at GMCH Chandigarh. So basically in this video, we are going to talk about what are the things you need to invest on, which you need to buy when you enter first year of MBBS and what are the things which you don't need to buy and never need to invest on. So first of all, we will talk about the general things that you need. First of all, it is a white coat which will be required on the first day itself which is on the white coat ceremony, right? So with that, you will also need a name tag if it is required in your college. As it is required, we uh, use it like the name is written here and with our MBBS and the batch name. So this, these things are written on the name tag and uh, these things are compulsory in our college. And uh, you must check in your college what is the routine and what is the protocol, how or uh, you get imprinted on the coat itself. So white coat, uh, you how many you need it? So if you are a hosteler and if you have problems for a laundry thing, for ironing and wash and all, then you need to buy more. That is four to five. But but if you are a like day scholar, you go to college from home directly and you don't have any problem of washing, then you may also buy two to three. But it is obviously according to your feasibility because in anatomy dissection halls many white coats are just ruined due to cadavers and uh, you need more because you need to be like a presentable in the finals and in the practical exams also to have just like good looking white coats so this is the white coat and this in my our college it is full sleeves not the half sleeve one so full sleeves are there in our college uh, so what it is there in your you may comment for knowledge or you may check out from your college authorities also or it can be seniors too so second uh, thing we are having the decent clothing uh, just for information just like other colleges some colleges you can't wear rags here and in some colleges i have got to know that they have specific white dress for the first year but in our gmc chandigarh it is not so at all uh, you can wear anything but it should be decent and uh, like somewhat formal itself so it can be a short pant a set or a kurti set also but it is up to you it should be decent only so this was about the white coat decent clothing and the third thing you must invest on if that is the shoes because you have to walk a lot in many situations you have to go from one place to another and some places are just like too far from each other in the college itself so if you have a good pair of shoes they would be your best friend in the college so this was all about the general next some people say about the steth a stethoscope right so you don't need to invest on a very expensive stethoscope right because it comes around uh, like uh, 200 300 like a decent stethoscope or it may be four to five hundred according to uh, the company and the range i bought a very decent stethoscope because it is yes it is not required in the first year itself so actually i required it because it is said now uh, like in comed in the community medicine family adoption program that is the postings uh, when you go to the rural areas or some like something like uh, the health centers you need to wear a stethoscope with a white coat because uh, just to uh, look like a like medical student there there also there is no use of the stethoscope some say that you need it for the bp machine along with it but in uh, com community medicine postings there are digital b uh, bp machines although in some colleges there in physio department also they have digital bp machines even if they are having the manual that sphygno manometer then you get the stethoscope in the college itself you don't need to purchase your own you can borrow it from some senior or it is possible that in your college in first year itself you don't even need it so the second thing in committee medicine and adoption program is that this measuring tape this is usually required and this is useful also if you uh, your mother or uh, someone in your family must be having it so you can borrow one because it does not cost much this was about the community medicine next comes that major part that anatomy 
first thing you need is a di dissection kit even if you don't want to buy a like very fancy dissection kit you can buy a few things which i will mention that is one tooth forceps one blunt forceps uh, one uh, like one or two scalpel and the uh, appropriate blades along with it which fit into that scalpel and uh, these are the basic things which you need in dissection hall and actually these are the four to five things which you actually need in dissection hall nothing else so you may not invest in that fine fa uh, fancy dissection kit although i will mention the link which i bought in first year right here so that was also of good quality which i uh, used second is uh, gloves is again a thing which would be your best friend in the first year why i'm saying this because you need the powder free gloves like it is written nitrile and powder free gloves you may search it on amazon flipkart or wherever you purchase it like when it is powdered then it will cause some rashes and some it may be allergic to you also i also bought that only and it was i had a very good experience with that so the third thing is masks the fourth thing comes here the bone set bone set may it is overhyped all over youtube everywhere even like some seniors may also offer you a bone set and quote you a price a very decent price of bone set but i would suggest you don't buy it so bone set is actually not required you the college obviously has very good facility you go to the dissection hall you daily have to our dissection hall you study there go prepared like i have studied i have this material i want to study scapula i want to study clavicle or whichever bone it is in the dissection hall today just go to the museum or the call uh, dissection hall and they will give you the bone you can borrow and return it after the class and uh, you can study you have plenty of time right so no need to buy it and keep it at your home it is just a waste of money and uh, in dissection hall you will uh, in the college you will get very uh, like the real bones so it has very good experience uh, as compared to that artificial uh, bone set right the fifth thing comes here is the h and e pencils it is also a thing which you need to invest on because it don't buy it from amazon because it has very high prices there or uh, like from any e shopping uh, website uh, it bought a stedler pencil it was around 50 rupees per pencil but on amazon you get 60 70 80 rupees per pencil so i would suggest uh, buy it from uh, like your local wholesale or stationery shops or a very good stationery shop around you so they would quote you a good price and you need to buy only stedler uh, h and e pencils uh, it is basically liliac color and that luna 137 color i will uh, quote you the like photos of the pencil right here so uh, that is a very good it is non breakable and otherwise the at apsara pencils they break a lot and also they don't have very good vibrant colors so it does not give a good uh, impression on your files next comes physiology in physiology you don't need a hammer you don't need a bp machine you don't need a stethoscope these things are just not needed your college would provide you you can like take it from them and study in the physio lab any any time when it is your practicals and practice it there itself you don't need to take it home or you don't need it at home like uh, to practice basically because if you are having a digital bp machine uh, then that's a different thing but you actually practically don't need it next is uh, what you need to buy is a muslin cloth muslin cloth i will uh, it is very soft cotton uh, kind of cloth very raw cloth and it is used for cleaning the slides it would be guided by the college uh, physio people itself so i am just telling you beforehand uh, the muslin cloth is needed uh, for example if you are a hosteler then you need to take some things along with you before starting before going so just take some cloth uh, you may ask from your parents they uh, must be knowing it next is bi biochemistry you need a permanent marker that is very important thing uh, because you need to write on the test tubes the which reaction test tube it is you also need that permanent marker in physiology also but in biochemistry it is a must next comes the stationary part stationary it is very like basic things which you needed in neat 
your uh, like need preparation times in school times it is the same thing right here just that hne pencils is extra and uh, you may also purchase that four in one colored uh, pen i will uh, post a photo here so that is a uh, like good thing it will help you save your space and carry it anywhere and create like color coded notes i actually use that and i'm having a good experience with it so this was all about uh, what things you need to buy how and from where in what prices uh, so i hope this you enjoyed this video and it would um, have imparted much knowledge to you and if you liked it uh, then do save it in your library and also share it with your friends to help them also because sharing is hearing